Got a goal and you just can't hit it? Well, fill up here and we'll help you get it. Learn the goal achievement success system here on Goal Getting Podcast and put some gas in your goals to power you to the finish line. Let's go, friends. Rev up your engines and let's take off for success. Hello and good day, goal getters. Welcome back to the show. I'm so glad you could make it. This is Tony Woodall, your host. Today, we're going to be talking about procrastination again. I have a quote today. If you want to make an easy job seem might hard, just keep putting it off. And that's from Olin Miller. Hey, are you a procrastinator? I saw this quote that I just talked about from Olin Miller today on an article on Huffington Post written by Romy Grossberg. I put a link to her article in the show notes so you can go read it. It's actually a very good article about being a procrastinator. As a contributor on Huffington Post, I like to follow and read great writers on there. And if you've been listening to the show lately, you know that I have been focusing on procrastination the last few episodes. Why, you ask? Well, for a couple of reasons. One is I have a coaching client that has been dealing with it in his life, and I want him to know that it is something that many people encounter and it can be overcome. And, well, I've been dealing with it over the last few months myself. Yes, me. If you've listened to the show, you know that I've had a time where I stopped posting episodes for a while. I went from posting the quote of the day six days a week to three shows, then to one, and then to zero for a few months. And I apologize to my regular listeners. You're part of the reason why I started back. I started having my friends and listeners comment that they missed me and they loved my podcast. So I really need to get back in there. But procrastination is most frequently in my experience and in my studies, the result of dealing with fears. Now I've talked about the different fears that people face. One of my favorite books by Napoleon Hill is his latest, Outwitting the Devil. And in this book, he talks about the six fears the devil uses to keep people from achieving their dreams. The six fears that cause procrastination, I believe, that are a big part of it that the devil talks about and his six favorite tools are the fear of criticism, the fear of ill health, the fear of loss of love, the fear of old age, the fear of death, and his favorite, the fear of poverty. Have you been suffering from any of these? In his book, Hill talks about the devil saying that his favorite of these fears is the fear of poverty. This is especially useful in his fight against those with entrepreneurial spirit. The person that wants to better their life, to try something new, to get out of their comfort zone, is often afflicted with this fear, whether they realize it or not. Honestly, this is one that has hit me on a couple specific occasions. It struck hard in 2008 to 2010 when I was in the lending industry as a loan officer and the market crashed. I was married at the time and had a daughter in college, and the thought of not being able to provide for them weighed heavily on me. We lost lost pretty much everything at that time, and, and it really just drove my mind crazy with that fear of not being able to provide, and I noticed And I wasn't thinking clearly during that time. My mind just kind of went into this state and it just, you know, it was really bad. I forgot about podcasting. I forgot about a lot of things. I'd actually started podcasting in 2004 and 2005, but when that hit in 2008 to 2010, I just never even thought about podcasting and forgot about it until I heard someone in class talk about it. 2014. And then I realized, well, I need to get back and do podcasting. Obviously, it's better and more effective now because you have more tools and more markets and media outlets to be able to get your podcast out. So it was the right time. But, you know, that fear of not being able to provide for the family just really affects people. And again, it is the devil's biggest tool to keep people down and keep people from going out and attempting their dreams. And and again, I've lived through it myself, so I know what it's like, and it can cause procrastination heavily in those who are trying to do things better than they did before. I've been going through that same fear lately. I have specific legal financial commitments now, and it's impacted my thought processes again. That fear of not being able to meet those commitments has affected me mentally, and I've been fighting procrastination. I'm getting over it, but the 
key to overcoming this fear and any fear is to recognize it for what it is. It's just a fear. So when you put a name on it, that fear, and you, you know, and when you know what it is and that it isn't you, but the fear, you can overcome it then. And that's what I want to stress today. You can overcome these fears. You can overcome procrastination. When you recognize this as a fear, the key is to take action. And if you've created an action plan to achieve your goals, you start taking action now. By taking action, your fear will dissipate. The more action you take each day, the easier it will be to achieve your goals. Remember, the farther behind you get in your goal, the harder it seems to overcome. The more you put it off, it seems so much more difficult to get to where you want to be. Romy's article on Huffington Post talks about what she calls the five-minute rule. And I like this rule. Ask yourself if you have five minutes in your day that you can spare. Trust me, you do. I know I do. And then tell yourself and then do something on your action plan for five minutes. If you're writing a book, sit down and write for five minutes. If you're getting in better shape, do sit-ups for five minutes. If your goal is to spend more time on self-improvement, Turn off that darn TV for five minutes and read a chapter out of that book for five minutes. Take action. Do what you need to do to move forward in your goal. Don't be a procrastinator. Start small and get back into the rhythm of the plan. That's what I've been doing. I started writing, recording, and publishing episodes again. And again, I want to thank you for being here and listening. I want to thank my long-term listeners for staying with us and keeping me on track and telling me that you missed me. And I appreciate that. It really does mean a lot to me. And you can take action and achieve your goals. Don't put it off. Just start with five minutes. It will build up from there. So go out today and take the action to move forward. Five minutes at a time if you have to, but just start now. I also want to let you know that I recently started coaching services. You know, sometimes we need additional help or accountability partners. I know I have a coach that I work with that has kept me on track and is working with me to overcome the procrastination. He follows up with me. I can call him whenever I want, and I'd like to offer that to you. So check out my services page to find out about my coaching programs. I'm here to help you. I really do want you to achieve the goals and I want, that you set, and I want to be here to help you. So you know, sometimes having someone to mount your ideas, your goals, and your struggles will help you go further in your success. It will help you overcome that procrastination if you're facing that. But check out the programs. Let me know which program is best for you. I am offering a free 20-minute clarity call to help you understand where you are today, what you want to achieve, and some actionable steps to begin your journey. If you want to sign up for one of the free 20-minute clarity calls, Send me an email today at Tony at GoalGettingPodcast.com and include Clarity Call in the subject line. Don't procrastinate. Email me today so you can get your free 20-minute Clarity Call. Hey, thank you for listening. I do appreciate it. This is Tony Woodall, your host with Goal Getting Podcast. Go out and make it a great day.